Hey, I'm Dr. Joffrey, board certified emergency medicine physician. I'm the guy who takes care of you and your family when you come to the ER. In this video, you will learn the top five causes of chest pain, non-cardiac chest pain. Number one, GERD, GERD, gastric esophageal reflux disease. In other words, our body produces too much gastric acid and goes on and causes chest pain. And so the way you usually treat that are, is a lifestyle change. You decrease foods that cause increased acid production. If you're overweight, you lose weight, stop smoking, but it's mainly a lifestyle change. And if it continues to advance, your doctor may need to put you on what we call an H2 blocker, a histamine 2 blocker. So GERD is a non-cardiac cause of, of chest pain. Number two, Myocarditis, myocarditis, myo meaning heart muscle, itis meaning inflammation. Inflammation of the heart muscle can cause chest pain. The most common reason for that can be viruses, bacteria, uh, toxins, believe it or not, snake bites. Vaccines can cause myocarditis. The treatment for that, it depends on the source. Meaning the symptoms are shortness of breath, fatiguing easily, but most importantly, it's very important for you to uh, follow up with your primary care doctor or go to the ER if you believe you have myocarditis. Next one, pleurisy. That's an inflammation of the pleura around your lungs. In other words, we have a thin layer of fluid around our lungs so that we can, our lungs move easily. If that gets inflamed, that can cause chest pain. It's called pleuritis. There are many different reasons for pleuritis. Uh, it can be due to medications, toxins, viruses, bacteria, and depending on the, on the cause, helps formulate the treatment. But often, in treating of the inflammation of the pleura, an anti-inflammatory or something in that category is often recommended. One of the common signs of pleuritis is it hurts when you take deep breaths. And then finally, costochondritis. It's inflammation of the costochondral joint. That's basically the joint that connects the rib bone to your sternum. That's cartilage. When the cartilage, chondro, gets inflamed, itis, it's called costochondritis. Often the, the treatment for that is anti-inflammatories anti-inflammatories. Some of the signs are pain with breathing, uh, pain with touch. It usually resolves on its own.